Hello, people. <clears throat> well, I told you, didn't I? Eh? I told you that they were going to do something for my birthday. Um, well, I didn't know if it was going to be my birthday, but I told you they were going to do something, didn't I? I said it wouldn't be long before they, you know, boom. All right? The day before my birthday, okay, they come and clamp my van. That was no mistake, that was done on purpose, cat purpose council, okay? So the thing is we've got now council is the fact that just like the police, I know that they've been infiltrated. I know that they're not helping people like myself target individuals because they are part of it now. You can't get the council to come along and clamp someone's van a day before their birthday and turn around and say that wasn't done on purpose. Especially if they're a targeted individual that's trying to survive in a camper van, a small camper van on the side of the road because they're being targeted, poisoned, stalked. I bet there's a few other people like myself out there now they've got the same story to tell. I'm from the past. So that's the police and the council which have shown me their cards now. So I called the homeless people St. Mongo's, St. Mongo's managed to find me a place almost straight away and here I am. <clears throat> For the first time in three years, I'm not living off grid. I'm not living in a caravan being poisoned. I'm not living in, a, living in a camp van on the side of the road being poisoned. I'm living in the YMCA being poisoned. It took them about two weeks to catch them up with me here and they're spraying from outside and then what rims they're spraying from, but they're spraying from rings around me. They're spraying from across the yard. Um, so yes, now I'm at the YMCA and now they're spraying me a good one from the yard out there. Um, almost as soon as I got here, somebody started stalking me. Um, but I think he's been put in his place because the reason why I'm here is because I'm a targeted individual. You know, it's like you go out shopping, you come back, they stick their out at the door just as you're coming back, they stick their out at the door just as you're going, you know, just as you walk across the room, they go and use the toilet, you know, that sort of copycat stalking. But he stopped it now, because I think somebody said something. It's the reason why I'm here, because I'm being stalked, mate. I'm a freaking TI. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, so now they're spraying it out from somewhere in the yard, and it's getting here and there. One of the good things is that this is the old police building in the middle of the city, in the middle of town, and I'm on the fourth floor and I've got a, like a room at the back, and they're finding it really, really hard to stalk me. Um, they're starting to coordinate the gas in. I filled up, I've peed over four and a half pints last night, um, but they don't seem to be able to get me to the sort of uh, later in the morning. Um, which is done on purpose to disturb my sleep, you know, you sort of you get into your REM sleep, don't you, sort of like, depending on what time you fall asleep, so they, they hit, try and hit my REM sleep, I get up, have a wee, fall asleep, and they're doing the same here now. And I thought, you know, if I go and complain to the staff, they're going to look at me weird and say, you know, it depends on how many of them are in on it. Because this is what I found out, people, you know, there's nowhere now that's safe where they haven't infiltrated, where they're not waiting for you to make a complaint, where they're not waiting for you to, you know, to try and create a situation of fairness. Um, and I've noticed, I'm going to run out of memory, I've noticed that's one thing that they're doing quite a lot, is they're creating situations where righteousness and being able to get a proper answer or being able to get proper action is going 
by which we have the right to take the next step through that righteousness of complaint to be an investigate to be investigated is actually been disrupted to the point where it's not anymore you know okay i didn't know how much i was uh, kind of becoming a bit of a A rod for my own back in the van because I, I had no choice in a way um, but I am saying I am I have and I'm enjoying the five weeks I've had at the YMCA or having at the YMCA with my own room with my own key um, and they started stalking me in the yard out there someone said the other day they were gonna, I was gonna get murdered and Quite plainly, in, in a crowd, just shouted out and my name. Um, they've been saying key words to try and trigger me, try and gaslight me. But because it's a bit of a cul de sac, they are finding it harder to stalk me and poison me here. So that's one blessing, I suppose. It's an old police building, so it's strate strategically designed, I suppose. Because over the yard is the, the old fire brigade, which has changed into a nightclub. But yes, they're getting me here, and I knew they would. Um, it's just a matter of time before they get their evil tentacles out and coordinate it and start poisoning them. And they have. They're spraying urinate that makes you urinate, urinate a lot through the window. Some nauseous, horrible stuff that's giving me a code. You know, they're just going to keep it up, aren't they? Um, but no evil in this world. I'm not going to lose it like that. You know, more the merrier for you, and it ain't gonna lose it like that. I'm trying to get to the states, believe it or not. I'm working on my passport. There's something over there waiting for me. I don't know what it is, but I've got to go there. <clears throat> Some call that I've never really felt before, but yeah. Anyway, just an update. I told you this happened, didn't I? I wondered what they do. And they clamped my camper van the day before my birthday. And you expect me to go and run around, use all my benefit, take stuff to cash converters and get the, the clamp off and try and... No. Nah. I thought, solid people, let's just get in the shower of accommodation. And it's been bliss for a little while, it really has. I've got what it meant to sleep on a comfortable bed. Three years I've been living off grid because of these evil sons of the bitches. Cheers. Take care, keep fighting people.